Corneal infection is basically when there's a microorganism invading the corneal tissue. Um, at risk mostly will be two categories. One, um, patients using uh, irresponsibly contact lenses, and that's kind of micro trauma because they're sleeping with them and they're not cleaning them, swimming with them, and then uh, cause an abrasion in the cornea. The organism invades the cornea and there's an infection. And the other one is uh, usually construction workers or people working in the fields. They have a organic trauma, free branch, or something like that. They're not using eye protection, and that's another way uh, that you get a corneal infection. Most of the corneal infections will respond to the current antimicrobial treatments that we have for either bacterial, fungi, or um, para parasites. So, um, but there is a subgroup and every year is getting more bigger and bigger because of resistance. So uh, there are a subgroup of patients that don't respond to um, antibiotics and we have to use either double or triple coverage and sometimes patients need to end up in surgery. Uh, and those are the patients that tend to have a worse prognosis and we try to avoid that. Uh, so we are very aggressive in managing early on with uh, um, frequent use of antibiotics topically, rarely, systemically, and we try to avoid surgery. We do the surgery when it's absolutely necessary. Really excited here at Bascom Palmer. Uh, I work in collaboration with Dr. John Marie Perel and his team um, and he helped me develop a photodynamic therapy system. Basically we use a light source uh, with a special chemical and the light in combination with the chemical applied to the corneal infection will create a chemical reaction that destroys or weakens the organism and also at the same time there's some research that shows that it strengthens the cornea so you want to have that combination so the cornea doesn't perforate from the infection and then you end up in surgery or with an infection inside the eye. So we've been working with photodynamic therapy uh, for the past two years and we've been able to uh, publish some of our work and we uh, are currently in the process of starting treatment in our, our patients. Uh, so we are optimistic with this technology for the future. Our microbiology lab is probably one of the busiest in the country. It specializes for microbiology just for the ocular tissue. Um, so we've been able to isolate from small amounts of samples that, and get the diagnosis. So uh, we get a good amount of referrals from the community uh, to test their uh, samples because uh, we have a high yield of getting the, the diagnosis. So I think the ocular microbiology lab at Bascom Palmer plays a very important role uh, in the, uh, say, the leadership in, of this hospital as an academic uh, and also as a clinical facility. We at Bascom Palmer and the Ocular Surface Center have the artificial cornea program or uh, keratoprosthesis. Uh, we uh, offer uh, this um, device or technology to patients that are not candidate for um, human corneal transplantation. Uh, we always like to use human cornea uh, human tissue from donors when it's possible, but there are a subgroup of patients that are not candidates and they would, they're not going to have good results with human tissue, so we have to move to this uh, option. Um, and for certain um, diagnosis or certain type of patients, uh, this is a very successful uh, surgery uh, with the proper follow-up and the proper um, preoperative um, evaluation.